Welcome everyone here to the Smash FM Ambassador Profile here on Smash FM. Of course, being with our uh, player sponsors um, from the clubs that we sponsor throughout uh, this season and of course uh, this this past year. And of course, uh, we turn our attention down to the Geelong Cougars in particular down in Geelong. And of course, uh, this particular player is uh, with a team at the moment uh, looking pretty good at the moment as we head towards finals, if it happens. Um, currently sitting equal top of the ladder. Uh, at this stage of the season, of course, uh, it is uh, nice to introduce Ellen Doyle uh, on, on the show. Thanks, Ellen, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. Well, tell us, how did you get involved in netball and why did you choose it? So I was actually really tall in primary school, probably the tallest one, starting from grade one all the way to grade six. And my uh, assistant principal, I think at the time, who is Maddie Brown and Kelsey Brown's mum, told me to go and start basketball. So I started basketball and I was just really unco at it and was just getting, yeah, just was not very good. And then she switched me to netball and kind of loved the sport from then and made the school team and then made state um, at 11 years old, which was pretty cool. And then kind of, yeah, took on the netball pathway from there and have loved it ever, ever since. Now, before we talk a bit about obviously uh... The, the Cougar side of things. Now, you might as well uh, tell us which um, local club, footy netball club that you're from. Um, and I guess will be some highlights from your, obviously still time in your um, football netball club. Yeah, so I've been at South Barwon Football Netball Club for 13 years now, which is a very long time. Um, I absolutely love the club. It's pretty much family to me. Um, they've stuck by me through a lot of my netball journeys and yeah have really supported me and I'm super super grateful so yeah shout out to South Barwon Football Netball Club but a highlight for me is just being around the club it's such a, an amazing club to be a part of and they bring such a nurturing environment and are like family as I don't know if any of you know but um, I don't have any family in Australia so to have such an amazing support from a football netball club like South Bowen, it's been super special. And yeah, they're such an amazing club and are really, really special to me. Down at South Bowen, um, obviously you've got some players that also play at the Cougars um, as well. Uh, you might also tell us uh, the current players at the Cougars who are now also playing at South Bowen. So at the moment, we just have two. We have Kiana Fallon and Tegan Lyon, who both are in the under-19 squad. So got a great junior program going at South Bowen that they've been a part of as well. But yeah, they've come on so, so far in their journeys um, on and off the court as well. They've grown as people and yeah, they've been playing really, really, really well this season. And I'm super proud of them. And it's great to see um, our local South Barwon netball is coming through the pathway and especially being part of the Geelong Cougars. So I told you about the Geelong Cougars now. Um, what will be some highlights throughout your time at the Geelong Cougars, even though I think I might know this answer? Yeah, my favourite highlight, even though I would never, ever relive that game, was my first year at Cougars winning the Under-19 Grand Final. It was so, so special, but so crazy at the same time. But yeah, that's a major highlight for me. Now, if my memory serves me correct, was that against the Falcons or was that against the Blaze? Falcons, Falcons, yeah. It was a one goal win. And oh, I would never ever relive that game, honestly. I was mixed emotions. I was mainly a bench player during the season and one of the goalers got injured um, and was out for the rest of the season. So I got the call up in that position and yeah, it was crazy, honestly crazy. and. Yeah, I've never experienced that kind of pressure or kind of thrill of the grand final before. Like being a local grand final, it's so easy, but that was just next level. And, oh, it was amazing. But, yeah, would never relive it. <laughs> now, my memory says me correct. Did you score the last goal on the buzzer to win the game? <laughs> yeah, I did. I I don't even, I can't even remember it. People, people, people ask me like, what was the feeling? And I actually don't remember it. It was, oh, honestly, I don't know how I got that in, to be honest. And I don't think I would have been able to go extra time. So I think that was probably in my head. You have to get this because you can't go anymore. <laughs> so have you, have you watched it back since? 
Yes, I have. I actually, a few weeks ago, it popped up in my Facebook memories and all my, like my Snapchat memories of when my friends recorded it. So I actually relived it a few weeks ago and that was fine. I was happy with that, but yeah, there's some footages that I watch all, not all the time, but when it pops up in my memories. I would say by the sounds of all that, um, you're down the shooting end, uh, gold shooter, gold tag, but you actually have played down the opposite end of the court, haven't you? Yeah, I'm pretty lucky that I can switch between goal shooter and uh, shooting and defence, sorry. Um, this year, mainly I've been playing defence, but have switched a few times into goals. But at my local club at South Island, I goal. So I've been having both in my hands, which is good. But yeah, I don't know which one I like more, but I'm pretty lucky to be able to balance it out and goal at South and then at Cougars play defence, which I really like. So... I've really asked this question because not many people can switch from shooting to, to defence so smoothly. Um, I guess, what have you learned from both positions that you take into, you know, whatever position you get put into? What have you learned um, from? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think when I play defence, I mean goals, I know how important it is to get the goals in. <laughs> Um, as a defender, it is quite frustrating when your goal is you've worked your butt off to get an intercept and it goes down the other end and it gets swung back. So as a goaler, I always try and get the rebounds if I miss the goal and make sure I get them in. But I think mainly in defense, my positioning of my body, um, especially towards a holding goaler, I as a defender really like playing against holding goalers. And I feel like I know what position they want to be in and don't want to be in. So as a defender, I think it's a quite a good advantage to have where I can put my body in a position where I know that the goaler doesn't want to be in. Tell us a bit about, um, obviously you've, you've been coached under fantastic coaches down at Geelong. Um, obviously most of, most of your time with the Cougars would have been under Mel. Um, but uh, tell us, uh, you know, what have you learned from being coached under Mel in particular? And then obviously we um, talk a bit about G as well. I don't even know where to start because honestly, I actually get quite emotional when I speak about Mel because not only has she been a coach to me, but she has been a second mum. She has helped me so, so much. It, not even my netball career, like she's obviously an amazing coach and has helped me grow as a player, but I have struggled a lot with mental health over the past four years being at Cougars now. And she's gotten me out of little dints in the road that I never thought I would be able to get out on. And yeah, she's helped me grow so much as a person and just been such an amazing support to me and been amazing support to my family as well, which is really important to me, but yeah, her netball knowledge and she has such a caring nature that as a coach is so, so important and she pushes you, you towards your individual achievements which I think is really important as a coach but yeah she's an incredible person and a coach and the Geelong Cougars and myself are so lucky to have her on board yeah Jez is incredible he's so down to earth and he only cares for the players and their mental health and everything behind the scenes we have a lot of mums at the Geelong Cougars especially in the champ Team, which is amazing and he understands and puts family first and I think it's really important for those mums that their kids are a priority and he's allowing that and yeah he is so so incredibly smart and the way he addresses things you know when you're in the wrong um, and you fix it straight away but he also encourages you and yeah, pushes you for the better. So as I said before, we're so, so lucky to have them both on board. And Damo as well, the under-19s coach, he is new but has such an amazing knowledge for netball. And, yeah, we're really lucky to have such an amazing panel that are so supportive of netball but also so supportive of your outside life too, which I think is a great balance to have. What does the sport of netball mean to you, especially being at John Cougars and South Bowen? Yeah, the sport is has been a major part of my life. Um, I've played netball for nearly, I don't even know how many years now, good 15, 16 years, I think, um, if I'm thinking right. Um, but yeah, it's been an amazing journey to have. And I've learned so much about myself as well, not only like about my 
positions and how I can grow as a netballer, but as a person, and I've met the most incredible friends that are going to be my friends for life. And I would even consider them family. So yeah, South Barwon and the Geelong Cougars have made some amazing dreams of mine come true and yeah, have, I've made lifetime friendships from it. Now, do you have any future ambitions in the sport netball concerning what you've already achieved already? I'm in the line to hopefully make the World Cup team for Scotland at the moment. So I think that's a big ambition for me um, at the moment. Um, obviously, due to COVID, it's been a bit of an up and down journey. So I don't know if that's going to happen, but I can dream about it and hopefully a miracle can happen. But yeah, that's probably one of my ambitions um, in my netball career. But I think just keep enjoying the sport. I don't I feel like I'm playing, I play my best netball when I am enjoying it. So yeah, just keep on enjoying it. And what would be your advice to people that should get involved in netball, especially down on the beautiful Geelong and the surf coast? Yeah, just go for it. I think take a jump and a leap and get out of your comfort zone and give things a go, but enjoy it at the same time. If you don't enjoy it, don't play it. Honestly, like you play, I always think you play your best netball when you're having fun and enjoying it. So yeah, just enjoy yourself and surround yourself by the people you want to and make new friends as well. Now let's get to know a little bit about you outside of uh, netball. Uh, firstly, favorite food? Ice cream. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, funny enough, that's actually my next question. Do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, this is so hard. I love all types of ice creams. Like if any of you know, I'm a mad ice cream eater, but probably cookie dough actually is so good. <laughs> favorite takeaway restaurant? I love a good pub meal actually. That's so like Geelong kind of vibes but yeah I love a good pub meal like a good steak or a good palmy so yeah favorite drink I don't know I love a good strawberry daiquiri when I'm on holidays but I'm not like a big coke or like soft drink drinker so water really but yeah if I'm treating myself a, on holiday definitely a strawberry daiquiri <laughs> yeah, it's my choice what strawberry daiquiri um involves Oh my God, haven't you had a strawberry daiquiri before? Oh. It is unreal. It's like a frozen drink, a strawberry drink, but it's got like vodka in it, I think. I'm not sure, but it's so refreshing and oh, it's amazing. You'll have to try it. Okay. Maybe maybe that'd be the first thing I'll do when, uh, once we get out of lockdown. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Favourite colour? Oh, I... That always changes for me, but at the moment, yellow. Uh, now, being in a uh, footy state, um, and uh, especially down in Geelong, I might, I might have a feeling where this question is going to end up. Favourite AFL team? Geelong Cats. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're in the finals too, so I'm, I'm excited. Footy finals are on, and I've got a good feeling about this year with the Geelong Cats. So, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, favorite <laughs> player? Tommy Hawkins. Have you met him? Yes, I have. Oh. <laughs> I have. He favorite destination that you have been to? I went to Thailand with my family and that was incredible. Went to PP Island and the waters were just so crystal clear. So definitely Thailand. Favorite destination that you haven't been to that you love to go to? I would love to go to like Italy and Croatia. Obviously that will probably not happen in a few years because of COVID, but I can dream. Because <laughs> uh, we're in lockdown, uh, do you have a favourite movie? I love Mamma Mia so much. That's my favourite movie. Uh, favourite TV show? I've been loving Love Island at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know a few... People that will listen will go, amen. But, yeah, Love Island at the moment is my go-to. Well, I just answered my next one about reality TV show, so I'll move on. <laughs> Favourite hobby outside netball or work? Swimming. I love to swim. Like a favourite swimming stroke? Uh, probably freestyle. Probably couldn't do any others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've tried butterfly once and never again. <laughs> Honestly, it's so hard. I don't know how people do it. 
And uh, don't worry, I can't swim to save my life, so don't worry. <laughs> Is there a particular artist on your Spotify that you have the most? I love Olivia Rodrigo at the moment. Mm-hmm. She's one of the top ones. But, yeah, I listen to, like, random songs sometimes, just depending on my mood. Uh, do you have um, a pregame superstition or ritual? No, I do sometimes like to have a nap before I play. Um, but no, I don't. A lot of some of my teammates, like one of my teammates, Zara, shout out to Zara if you're listening to this, but um, she doesn't put her shoes on before the game, like until right before we warm up. Like she'll just have, she'll walk around in her socks. Um, but yeah, a lot of my teammates do have superstitions or rituals, but I don't, besides having a nap. But if I don't have a nap, it's not a big deal. But yeah, besides from that, nah. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll keep an eye on uh, on Zara with that. Uh, her, <laughs> yeah, um, I, like I've been to so many of your games at the State Netball Center, and I haven't seen that. Um, yeah, you wouldn't like she rocks up in her shoes, but then yeah, before she like does warm up, she always takes her shoes off and just puts them aside, and then it's like shoes on, warm up straight away. Oh wow, well, okay. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, obviously, we, we mentioned before. Uh, about your favourite destination that you haven't been to that you love to go to and obviously in the south of Europe oh well so yes yeah, close to south of Europe south southeast yeah um why are those places no they just look absolutely beautiful my older sister went to those places last summer or the summer before when she was allowed perfect timing um and yeah the photos she showed me are absolutely incredible so yeah definitely like the looks of it and I love pasta and pizza so Italy is <laughs> renowned for that so yeah definitely want to give those places a go for their food as well yep yep I completely <laughs> agree I completely agree with that one yeah uh, how special is it to be a, a smash fan ambassador yeah, I've been super lucky to have you guys support me throughout my netball journey, not even just this year, throughout my whole time at Geelong Cougars. So, yeah, it means the absolute world, and I'm super grateful and blessed to have you guys on board. So I know that uh, you're not the only netball ambassador in the VNL that we are that we have. I guess how special is it to be part of like a Smash FM VNL ambassador family? Yeah, it is a bit of a family in now like you cross paths with players that you've played with before or against and you make great friendships so yeah to be on an ambassador team is really special and it feels like you're kind of a part of a netball team but I'm you know in a different kind of club but yeah no it's super special and it means a lot thank you so much for giving up your time to join us it's awesome having you on the show we are so happy that we got a chance to uh, have you as part of our ambassador uh, this year and uh, hopefully it continues into uh well, depending on how long you stay with the Cougars, uh, <laughs> hopefully it's uh, forever. Um, so, yeah. But uh, best of luck, uh, hopefully, depending on how this season, or obviously how this year pans out. Um, and uh, so we get to see, uh, obviously, you and your teammates um, back on the netball court uh, very soon. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. And that's uh, Ellen Doyle there joining us from the Geelong Cougars. And of course, South Bowen as well, uh, Football Netball Club, of course, uh, as part of our ambassador profile.